The importance of aligning yourself with your forefathers, your ancestors, and there's more than two teachers. So you know, you can be so cool that you made that two day without the support of your root, your forefathers. And I have this yaka when I wore your mock raise you. Leave on a tunis and what I can my own there, my own people. So if you don't like what is happening to you right now, begin to align yourself with your forefathers. Believe in me. Let me use what you know to explain what you don't know. Let's use the biblical stories of the, the Israelites. Believe in me, they don't joke with your ancestors. Their ancestors. On your wish you quite there. But before I get you, as in Nachita Tabuko, 
September on my WhatsApp number. I do answer my call myself and respond to my messages. On Yabi Hibos Rema. The Nature of Quora. Now, my mail on my as a fuel festival. We go to our temple gavel on the 30th of August. A young one waffle. Oh, only your mail. But I didn't share your room with I was a dear Marshall, when I was Tuesday, I will see a preacher who go to the temple. No, can they one day with his hand so him and muscles no gawa case you? I'm a money situation who go to the temple. I ain't a bath of my family, you look as all the more the teacher. Brokwasi, on your muscles, or the new. Yet I was only situation who go to the temple. That is, on your muscles, or the new. Uh -huh. My mission is to help people live better life. In case you go there, they issue a wage bill, no budget, no government case you go. But aligning yourself with your forefathers and believe in me, they will not only do sinna. Every day, people will not click your case you go. But then they will just do sinna. He will not have to do your case you go. If you don't like what is happening to you right now, what you should do is to take a decision. Chigaria ma chigaria, our Monday mad is too wet. One is to repent, saying, "Oh, what I have done in the past, no drama. Na mo mo ta kreda na akon niani." Then you decide to turn back because what I tra akon niani did two times. One. He repented. Yes, he repented, uh, accepting for the fact that he he uh, he disobeyed his father. Or he nagar yime. Then the second thing the prodigal son did was restitution. He decided to go back and decide to take whatever uh, punishment. That his father didn't fit. Magam Pochintia. I can tell you for fact, I'm a living witness. If you can take this drastic as decision to come back to your root, believe in me. But the problem people of nowadays do have is this. All the horses saw. 
Oya gure go sere. Ode ye mongwa ngwa o. Ode ye mongwa ngwa. Ojo di ongwa ngwa na wongwa wo wo se so. Enu. Ode ye mo se so. Ode ye mo se so. Ojo di o se so na wongwa ngwa ngwa. I can't remember the, the artist that uh, sang this music. It's uh, one of these old school music. But I can tell you, the thing is that, uh, let me tell you what you don't know about spirituality and the, the spreading of the tentacles and one thing. One thing you will know, one, even more than your heart, you must accept your call. You must accept your decision. To come back to your root with all your heart without keeping grudges without having ulterior motive you must be happy you must be happy for the fact that you are given opportunity to see the light of the day to come across the, the message that we Actually, rest, actually restore all you have lost in the past. It's the only auditor that can help you to restore everything. Is it the family world? Is it the everything, every damn thing, good thing that is in your family must be restored, must be restored. Everything they like in the spirituality, you must accept to grow within the ranks in spiritual matters you cannot jump steps those steps you are climbing in spirituality matters it, they count because there is this, this lesson that was meant for you to learn at every stage Believe in me, if you are climbing staircase, if you are climbing staircase, whether you are climbing or you are coming down, and you decide not to follow the lay down process of climbing the step, the, the staircase step by step, believe in me, you are exposing yourself to danger. that could come as a form of accident. Yes, it can, it can be self-imposed accident. And when such thing happens, maybe you will be blaming somebody that is, a, that is responsible for your predicament. The truth of the matter is that there is great danger whenever you want to jump processes. This spiritual life you are seeing is like class. Believe in me, if you decide to jump class without meriting it, eh? believe in me, you will see. Uh, you see, at the end of the day, that there will be vacuum. There will be vacuum in your life because what you're supposed to learn, you did not learn it. In spiritual growth, spiritual growth is not uh, earthly academic qualification, and especially what we have in Nigeria. Where you can bought yourself, you can bought the certificate for yourself. You can do mago mago. You can pay up for your growth or elevation. No. In spirituality, you can. Not, spirituality is not hereditary per se. In the sense that, for the fact that your father is a strong spiritualist, automatically that you already. A strong spiritualist without a minute is not possible. It's a spiritual life and a spiritual strength is not end at the plot of God without you doing something that will make it possible for you to be there. You must work yourself up. So aligning yourself with your own your forefathers is the key. How will you do this? First and foremost, 
you must be a type that normally have this strong respect for your ancestors, for your forefathers. Even in the earthly setting, if you are a type that normally disrespect your elders, you don't take advice. A man they fall within the category of Ezoanyawanam. And believe me, that this one adage that is meant solely for the so called Ezoanyawanam people. If you belong to the class of Ezoanyawanam, they go to the Rusina, Ezoanyawanam, they go to the Sinogodo, Apukumunia. So you must be a type that have utmost respect for your forefathers. Makanoja Pobe, Apokoro, Abatobe, where you buy here. You must have the highest respect you can give to any human spirit for your ancestors. Believe in me, when you do, they will they will they will respect you, they will honor you, they will bless you for giving that respect. You get. But if you are a type that disrespects your ancestors, your forefathers. Believe in me, your name is sorry. You get. Do you think that your forefathers care if you decide to waste your life? Even in the ancient book, he says, Na Asia woman ne bunimba. Manajo woman na kwadamba. Sin is a reproach, but I righteousness is not a nation. So if you decide to live a good life worthy of emulation, you will be lifted up. But if you decide to live a life that is so disgraceful before the eyes of your ancestors, believe in me, they will bring you down. They don't care the height you have attained before. After all, it's not to attend high spiritual level that count. What counts? Will you be able to sustain yourself in that upper echelon? That is most important thing. So what you must do is one, you must have the utmost self-respect for your ancestors, your forefathers, and your root. Once you do this, believe in me, you will find out that your ancestors will fall in love with you. They will love you in a special way. Two, they will begin to open your eyes to the spiritual, abundant things that is beneath the land of your bed. So, I can tell you there is so much powers, there is so much work in the land of your bed. But believe in me, you can only be able to harness those stuff, both the power and the work in your lineage. Even if you came from a poor lineage that can be described as poor lineage, believe in me, your ancestors can turn everything around because of you. They can use you to change the story of your lineage. They can make you rich beyond your imagination. What is important is aligning yourself with them. Sometimes there may be some hidden treasure, hidden wealth in your lineage that you didn't even know. They can even allow you to inherit so many things, goodies, things, goodies that we make you to be envious, people, other people to be envious of your family. They can even open your eyes to show you what you don't know that really exists in your family. Do you get? And then once you start developing your spiritual strength, believe in me, some, because of the intercession of your forefathers, your ancestors, many other entities of powers would like to work with you. 
in order to elevate you for good. What is important is your sincerity, your good heart. You must have a good heart. You must have good heart. And they always approach them with that sincere heart. Believe in me, they will lift you. It have happened in my life. Sometimes I will be asking myself, actually, did I really deserve this? Did I really deserve this? That the miracle and the goodness that normally flows to me sometimes will be. I, I will look at it. I will, I would like. I will be like, is this thing is it not too much for me? Only me had to come. Did I really deserve all this? This miracle, this upliftment. But what one thing that I'm sure of. She sheer heart to follow my ancestors. I have made up my mind that I have seen it all. It will interest you to know that I have traveled even outside Nigeria in search of spiritual um, strength. So, and I have seen it all. But at the end of the day, I found out that Ihe Nesin and Konya Karia. When I came back to Odinana, one thing that is even is very clear to me, and I would like you to use that approach in your own problem, to solve your own problem. That approach is sincere heart, sincere as in, open your heart with sincerity that you have made up your mind that you will follow your ancestors to the last day of your breath. That's what they want. If you can take this decision, such a decision, believe in me, you will smile. It happens to me. Do you know in recent days, after I, I, I made up my mind to align myself with the ancestors without thinking about what the other people think? What happened is that there's a lot of things that have been happening. But the most important thing is that I have already made up my mind that I will follow them to the last. And they, on their own, they have already kept their prom keep keeping their promise. That for the fact that I, be I believe them with a sincere heart, that they will always, always stand by me. And they promise to stand by me. Do you know a lot of people, a lot of testimonies coming on daily basis? Even this evening. Two people share their own testimonies. People who share their testimonies on daily basis. And before then, some months back, after aligning my with my ancestors, remember when I was aligning with my forefathers and the rest of them. I first of all, I. I aligned myself with my late father. I brought him inside my temple. I want to be an obese so that I will be able to um, pay homage and feed him in respect of his own contribution. Despite the fact that he tried his best so he died uh, as a Christian, but I know he was a good man. Only for the reason that he did not understand the way we understand it nowadays. But he remained a good man. He died a good man. So what did I do? 
after aligning with my chi, my indi chi, my indi me, my alus that is alusi bend and alusi kumna, and so just from time to time, you see my my uh, my instruments keep on rising, keep on rising. At the stage, my father demanded through Afa that I should bring him home, as in inside the temple. Labor and I'm really damn yeah. What did I do? I do the I did the needful. I gave him a space in my temple. Meaning that every morning if I go to temple, I will give what I do what I'm supposed to do. You know, two years to two to walk and the rest of them and say thank you, Daddy. You understand? Makani mm -hmm. cannot be talking about your ancestors. Without knowing about your father, but can I ask you, man, on the other hand, do after that person said that thing, then my my grandmother from my father's side, you understand? Who happens to be a wife to my junior? She now demanded that I should I will bring her up. Too. I did. You know, as you can see, the lineup is rising, right? So from then, and the other entities keep on coming, including including Alice. They keep on coming. That is how my ismails keep rising, keep rising, keep rising. So, and they assured me that um, that more are coming. I said okay. With all pressure, that I will accept all of them. With your promise that I will always do the needful, and I will remain steadfast in doing the right thing, and to propagate the message of Odinana, and they promise they make me to make me great. So as I'm making that thing, they came and told me that Ungu is even interested in joining the forces. How at that time I looked around. What I want to share with you is just like a, 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 a mystery to me. I was like, how? I was how? That is, when I got that message like last, sometime last year, I was like, it's not possible. The, the space where the temple, as the way I started the temple, is so small that there's no way any, any tree at all can stand there. You know why? Because... In our family, we have small land. As we don't have, my size of my uh, temple arena is like about, uh, they call it two full plots. Yes, that is including where the houses were, we are built. So I was like, there is no way. And the, those um, uh, hood trees cannot live very close to the house. You understand? I was like, how will this be possible? Within me, I doubted it. I was like, how come? How, how can we be around my temple? And they said, anytime, even if I was sweeping, I will be looking around to see if there is any way I will come across. Him. But really, we keep on pressing that things will be coming. For me, I couldn't believe it. You know what happened? Last year, about a year plus now, Somebody came to me, as in some of one of uh, one of the workers that is working in my company then, told me, uh, is that, uh, that uh, they want to sell, sell their land. So I went there innocently. I bought that plot. It's about two plot plus. I bought it, and uh, when I bought that land, I didn't even envisage that or even dreamt that there will be a tour in that particular land. I didn't even look at that side. So, but. I know that whenever I'm praying, I will be seeing Ungu, Ungu. I was like, how? Well, I didn't see it possible. Within my uh, uh, physical strength, I look around because of land constraint. I was like, it's not, it's not possible. And I know fully well that Ungu is not wanting something. is a spiritual tree. That is not something you can plant on your own. Mm -hmm. Not what you can plant on your own. Uh -huh. it's, a spirit, it's a spirit that normally allow it to fall whenever they want it to fall. Mm. So what happened is that, I couldn't even be said. So what happened is that 
last, uh, I think, let's say, about two weeks ago, one of my sisters that normally is a uh, specialist too, a uh, called one too. So he came to me, but that, uh, that he wanted a land where she will build her uh, place of uh, Unaholo. So her own temple. Then I said, okay, come to me. I have a land where you can do such. I took her to this particular land. Even without even looking around, the day I came already, okay, even from the map, I am already from the house, you know, draw where I will give to her because that place is still a, a virgin land and then it's a new layout. And if I really want to give her land, that place is the only option. You can't take the person down, consider the fact that the person needs to be a little bit closer up. So that is the only place I can give. But believe in me, that particular place I marked, the way I was even marking it, I didn't even see that, notice that it was there. I marked 50 by 50. I said, okay, take this one, I will give you this one. So it's all agreed within the family that I will give her that one. So as for the land belongs to her, as we speak, it was like trying to erect some kind of uh, um, altar there. Now, it's only after that I now notice that it will be there. And for the fact that I've already given her that place, there is no way I will say no. Because I can't go back with my from my earlier promise. That is how that will go as it went. So before then, before then, uh, and I remember that this thing keep coming. Sometimes if I'm doing that I'm about myself. It's coming, it's coming. I was like, well, how? I couldn't believe it because I, like I told you, the, the only land I have is, let's say, two plots size land. So, and uh, I didn't even notice any at all. So, do you know what happened? Guys, within the parameter of where I fenced and put gate and everything, nothing like it. But there is no way we will be there because the, the family house and the, they don't even have enough space. So do you know what happened? So to my greatest surprise is today that my attention was drawn to the, let's say, in front of my house, in front of my house, very close to where public tap of Bohol is located. Now my attention was drawn to that place that actually the this that have been there. This thing will have been there, maybe this thing will have been there, maybe decades, even when I was in the uh, church of Ethan, very, very front and back. Meaning that that thing, based on what I noticed there, meaning that that, that thing has been there, even in the time of my fathers, or even my father, I don't know. But one thing I noticed there, coming closer to that, I noticed that that thing has been caught before. Uh -huh. Though there are some testimonies that. The who might have been located, you know, it's through these spiritual books, eh? uh, trees. Sometimes, if you caught them in your family, they might move to another family land that is within the same circle and, and, uh, and uh, start to germinate there. So, they move. Sometimes, if you caught them here, they can give you like 10, uh, 10 feet away and they, and they regrow there. Or maybe they can move to another family entirely. Is today I was I was told that this Singu has been in one particular family within our casement, but they caught it there at that time. So the thing came to our side, and the the land in question uh, is in my land, from my land. So now what happened is that during the time that time I was near the Merinoka front and back. So that the same thing was caught again. So they said that me, for me, I didn't even notice it. Because actually, where the thing is, is where I normally even pass almost on daily basis. But however, it's one of the places that we, we don't normally farm, you understand? Yes, at least when I farmed that area last was, uh, I think, over 20 years. I used to farm on that particular portion of our land because the land was like about uh, 20, 20 feet away. Okay, 20 feet away. Let's say 20 feet away.
from the gutter, but at the main road to gutter. So I was like, I don't look like that because that side we normally have a color, something like cashew, cheleku, and whatever within that area. So I couldn't notice it. So then, uh, but based on what I saw is that that place is either our uh, somebody have caught it, somebody have caught it in the past. I can't say this is the person that caught it in the past or not. So, but when my attention was drawn to it today, I consulted my alpha, my alpha cell that actually that the the three in question because I wanted to be sure with alpha. I, I, the three in question is is Yungu. and the, uh, that uh, a lot of atrocity has been done to that particular Yungu. You know, it will interest you to know that Yungu is here. Uh, is male. You understand? Uh -huh. is he, um, who is male spirit. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like it is when um, other ones in uh, I like Ngu. I Ngu okay. So Ngu, I did Jinneku. I did Burungu in it and Neku. He got a Buddha wide old copper. Me. I got go. Uh -huh. hey, bro, that is here. Who, if you okay, that is it. But the major body you have now female. That is good for you. So after consulting my my alpha confirmed that actually is in you. And that in you is a strong spirit that is actually there. And then uh, as the tree now, after cutting it for the first time, now the thing will be grew again. This time around, as it's growing, we now have more branches now. And the based on what my alpha said that for the fact that he grows now, that I should not bother about the branches he has now, that I should allow it to grow in that manner. Again, that as he stands now, that anybody that dare to cut the tree now, the person might be sure of because the spirit will send the person to, to Chuku. What we call to chuku, meaning that anybody that caught it now is in trouble because he decided to we come back again, knowing fully well that what was done in years back. I don't really know the years. Uh, it's in my fault of my heart, but actually I remember it okay. Sometimes you don't go through it. Sometimes if you do not look it very well or you don't know much about it, it normally looks like a back three of us better, unless on close. Observation, you'll be able to know the difference. Mm -hmm. But if you are from far looking at it, you look like a backer. Mm -hmm. So, and now one that I nobody should do anything unclean there or try to cut it again. Uh -huh. Because this time it's called, it came back. Because if you look at it now, the thing look very new, it was just germinating new. It is something that. If you look at it, you agree with, uh, agree with me that it's not up to one year. The thing grew back. It's like the thing grew back for a purpose. Because for me, I believe last uh, last two years, it wasn't there. Because that last two years, everything was leveled. Because that two years, I think my brother engaged uh, people that do this, uh, people that normally get paid after farming. They cut everything and everything, everything, and they planted cassava there. Everything. So the one, this one that grew now is very fresh. Meaning that this one might have germinated between last year and this year. So you can see that he came for a purpose. You understand? He came form formally for a purpose. So now, and now remind me that what I might have been receiving since last year that in group is coming. But I couldn't go for me. We know why I wave it. Why I wave it is that there is no way we grow anywhere because in my company is too small. It cannot grow beside my new living house or it can't talk because when we grow, it's a very big tree. You understand? So I wave it because there is no space. And sometimes even if I'm sweeping my temple arena, I look at it, there is no way we can grow there. So I couldn't believe. <laughs> but this is more the regular thing now. What you had in your home. Now it's like the thing now. If you go there, maybe 
after I arrange it very well, maybe I will take maybe make some video there. Maybe by next week. If I make video there, you agree with me that this thing is something that started germinating either last year or early or this year or even this year. Because it's still pretty fresh. So now what it means that after my alpha confirm it, now I visited a friend of mine who is also my very close friend. For him to look at it again, he look at it again, then I say this is him. Uh, after consulting Alpha, he's Alpha now tally with mine. So and he's exactly my thing who told me my Alpha and exactly the same thing with the third person. So now I know with that since he have already uh, been double checked. Now what it means is that by next week, maybe. Uh, by next week again, I will start doing something um, there um, to welcome Ngu uh, within uh, the temple arena. You know, so what, what I want to tell you today is that this, align with your ancestors, align with your forces. Gradually, they know how to be coming. And like I told you, this Ngu has been coming. This last year, even if I'm doing spiritual inside, I will see Ngu. Coming, I would say, but I will marry with it. What I want, like, I don't have space, there's no way we will come. And they uh, believe in me that particular thing. Don't worry, if I make the video, you will agree with me that this thing you know, wasn't there like two years ago. No, it was not there. It's either this year or this year that this thing generated. And it's within the ranks, the years they were like telling me it's coming. But I look around, I say, Kai, where, where are you? Where can you can't? There's no way. So without knowing that uh, they are planning a position where the thing will jump back. So then, uh, and it's a, a big plus again to the new um, place of uh, work. My sister is directing now. It's already She already have him there. So when she's ready for that, I will go there and do the needful to activate. Because any move that is there, He's already come with the spirit. So what you need to do is to do the necessary activation. Once you do the necessary activation, with then the Maya and and the rest of them, I will walk my head in there, then my aqua. Uh -huh. So once you marry a the man they have already activated the spirit that is there. So for the one that is in front of my house, um we do the next four maybe by next week so what i'm telling you that the same thing with what is happening with you aligning with your ancestors believe in me if you start aligning with your forefathers they will come with other entities of powers that normally work hand in hand with them in the world of spirit these spirits are not alone do you know how we normally eh, in the world of this uh, the physical this electric gross material as we human beings normally move in fraternity in by association. We make our own friends, people that we like, people that we go out with together. The same thing is what is happening in the spiritual realm. I can tell you, even your forefathers, your ancestors, there is some certain spirit that normally will go with them. They have had a recovery. Oh, but I'm not alone with what you want to do. Now, what you want to do, how do I make sure that we include you? More I can tell you, even your forefathers with other entities of powers that normally move in line and hand in hand with them. So when your ancestors is happy with you, your forefathers is happy with you, definitely gradually their spiritual friends, the entities power, entity of power that normally flows with them. Then we start coming. And let you for that. They will move for the issue. She mad. Example, no one you can get a singing that children will get. We're linked with you. Then you hope that once you are, you are aligned with yourself, with your children, and they are doing the right thing, and your children is happy with you, definitely we will follow. You know what I mean? As you know, you will be clear. And if you could, if I could be so for the fact that you are aligning with your ancestors, believe in me, you are aligning with other forces that follow your ancestors. 
they are lining with the entities of ones that follows with their their forefathers. It just beat line by line, step by step. It can it cannot rush spirituality. Spirituality is not magic. What you need one create time for your spiritual exercise, create time for your meditation. You know, meditation is part of the spiritual exercise, right? Yes. Create time for what I call spiritual exercise. That spiritual exercise entails so many things. Now, by so doing, always long, long for something pure. Long for something that is of the for the light region. Something that we really of great help. By so doing, you are purifying your path. And once you are preparing your part, you are aligning yourself with the radiations from the light region. And it's a gradual thing. You can't expect it to happen like magic because in evil spirituality, is not magic. You develop it the way people normally develop academical knowledge by attending to their school curriculum. Like maybe a small child, a kid will go to um, kindergarten, all those nursery and everything, 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 to primary school, to secondary, to university. That's a mahadu. You know what I mean? So it's like a spiritual life. It can't jump. Believe in me, whenever you want to jump out, to rise above your develop, spiritual development, you're exposing yourself to spiritual danger. And it's not good for you. And if you jump there, believe in me, there is a vacuum. And that thing you do not learn at that particular stage. You keep on hurting you. So as you know, the you know, you buy blue shoes or bubble or wear also. So you cannot try to be faster than your shadow. In spiritual matters, in spiritual matter is not what you apply uh, the intellect over cultivation of the intellect. So what you do is one, always have time for your spiritual exercise. That is the only way you receive radiation. I told you what happened to me like for last year. I keep hearing about you. I was like, no, it's not, there is no possible. If you know we go to one attempt to two, well, know my small landscape, you will agree with me that there is no way we will grow there. But as I was like making this thing step by step, step by step. So even the, the last two weeks that I gave my sister that land that contained Ugo, when I noticed that ah, Ugo is in this land, I was like, wow, is it not this Ugo that I was uh, being told about? Is it, and uh, this one enter my hand now. How come I gave it out just like that? Without even knowing that there is a way again that is even my house. There, there's no way I will be carrying, taking care of two at the same time. Without knowing that another one is even there waiting for me. <laughs> More Diego. So it's a win win situation. So I'm so happy for the gods. For the gods. And uh, what I can tell you as you know, the man steadfast believe in and keep the temple keep the heating up and the, even if when you you come back to another you are not getting the adequate result immediately please never you give up never you give up because you can never know what what uh, the gods plan for you believe in me they have so much Plans for you. If you all would even hear more than check with your heart, it's just so. I want to share my testimonies in the Madden, even in Cornwall, or the too much. And I can tell you now, September, testimony of September will be more. Maybe, maybe Sunday, if I have time or on Sunday, I might come with a lecture that will even open your heart and their mind more for you to understand how things work. Obuna, he will add to the Uncle Uncle Zita. He will he can send their message. Now what's up? Mobile nature got one of our family. Then send their message. Now what's up? Mobile no will you open up on your order? Now Bogo Jew and it's your age. What you send message to my WhatsApp zero eight zero five seven eight. 37 672. I repeat 
I'm going to show you how to watch and watch and watch and watch and YouTube. my YouTube channel, I'm going to show you how to watch and my Facebook page, I'm going to show you Baham. to watch and 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 be with us and abide with us. Let every negativity reverse. Let there be positivity in your life. I speak positivity into the lives of my viewers and followers and children all over the world. Now I should work in Capri Mihenine. Only Kerine Sidaki Ibe. They won't look at you for Thank you.